Hi, this is Adam at Small Town Machine Shop. Today I got a quick little video for you. I get a lot of wiring questions because I have some wiring videos on YouTube. And I get a lot of questions about VFDs and stuff as far as wiring to machines. And probably the number one question I get is why is my VFD overcurrenting and not running my machine? So I thought I'd do a quick video to explain this and make it very as clear as I can. Again, there's a, this is include, including electrical stuff. So if you're not comfortable doing electrical stuff, then have a professional do it. But let me show you the scenario that I get the most questions about. So let's go over to the VFD. Okay, so the first thing most people do when they get the VFD is they take a, this is the plug for the Van Norman mill. This is for demonstration. They take the end off the plug, they take the plug off the end, they wire the wires directly into the outfeed of the VFD and, you know, wire the incoming power in, obviously. And they think that's all they need to do. So then this has a really slow ramp up, so, because I haven't gone to the parameters yet. So then they turn on their VFD. So there we go, it's ramping up. Again, I haven't messed with the parameters yet, so I think this takes like a minute to ramp up. And they still have the normal start-stop switches and all that. So let's go back over to the mill. Okay, we're at the mill. I don't know if this is gonna pick it up. You can see it's at 60 hertz. Now that VFD is rated for 10 horsepower. There's only six horsepower on this machine. Should be plenty, right? Well, let's kick it on we hear a click and now the VFD has a fault on it so let's go over the VFD and I'll explain to you what is happening okay we're back to the VFD there's our typical fault go ahead and clear it and what it is is when you hook a VFD to your machine that's typically not all you have to do. Uh, uh, VFDs really only like to be wired directly to a motor or some kind of inductive load, like a heater or something like that. What the problem is, is the inrush amps from the mag starters. So when you first kick on an electrical motor to get it spinning up to speed, there's what's called inrush amps. Those inrush amps... Uh, based on the code of the motor are many many times the amps it normally draws so when this is running at its normal 60 hertz and it hits you know, that max starter there's a very sudden draw on this and it tries to keep up so it can't so it overcurrents so you might ask yourself because you can set these things to ramp up in you know just a few seconds what's the difference between the motor ramping up quick off a mag starter or off the VFD. And this is the easiest way I have found to explain it. When you leave the mag starter on the machine and you go to kick it, it brings in a wave of power from the plug to try to get the motor going. That wave of power hits the VFD because it's in between the mag starter and the motor. Now, if the VFD is directly to the motor and you it draws a load when you activate the VFD the VFD is generating that wave of power to get the motor going you see what I mean the power is already here to get the motor spinning the VFD is doing all the work it's not trying to play catch up through through the outlet that's the easiest way I can explain it and in simple terms so you get around this by Bypassing the mag starter, if it's a single engine or a single motor machine like most lays, most milling machines, that's the simplest way. It's just go around the mag starter because this will be your on-off, your speed control, and all that. Even if it has multiple motors like the Van Norman, the Van Norman runs perfectly fine because both motors are spinning at the same time. If you have two motors that work independently, like on the radio, like a radial arm drill, it gets a little trickier. 
But uh, that's the easiest way. You can set the ramp speeds with a forward and reverse switch to get around where you don't have to mess with the wiring. In fact, if I set the ramp speed to this to like keep it at like 60 seconds for full hertz, I could probably kick this on and walk over to the Van Norman. And when this is at 30 or 35, I could probably kick the Van Norman on because the inrush chance would be lower because the hertz were lower. But yeah. So that's the easiest thing, easiest way for me to explain this. Uh, these things do not like mag starters. So there's a, some additional wiring to get your machine going. And it, it will say that in the manual. But everyone just reads the wiring manual and the programming part of the manual. No one reads all, all, any of the other stuff. So, but trust me, it, it's in there, even on these cheap ones. So that is why, most likely, your VFD is overcurrenting the first time you hook it up to your machine. So I hope some of you find that helpful. This is Adam for Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.